Welcome back. We've got traffic problems here in uh, Garbitas Point. Serious traffic problems there and here, and we're going to fix them. I'm going to see if I can fix this one on camera, and then uh, we'll go from there. We'll see how things all work out here. But uh, first things first, let's go ahead. We'll throw ourselves... You know what? Let's try and do it live while the city's still trying to grow. We'll take this puppy out right here. And uh, this is going to make that one over there a lot heavier in traffic. Let's go ahead. We'll back this guy up. And... Uh, we're going to have to run some power lines temporarily right there because I'm going to be taking these out. There we go. We get power back to the water. They'll have a problem for a second. All right. Let's try and build a nice clean roundabout for our city here. All right, we got that, and then we'll do this guy here. And the idea is you'll make a cross shape like this, and then you can come down here, and we have, do we need a six-lane road? We don't want it to be a highway. Let's make it a six-lane, one-way road. You're going to make it curve. And then you can come out to a corner like this. And... All right, what do we got going on there? That one too long? Perhaps that one was too long. So welcome back to a, an, an exciting road-building episode of City Skylines. I'm Scotty Garbitas. Please consider, oh, please consider subscribing for more fun City Skylines episodes, Minecraft videos, and more. Go back to this, and we'll jump back to our one-way road here. There we go. Still not perfect. Oh. But we're doing better. And... Not too shabby. So then what you'll do is you take these roads out. You've got a nice roundabout. A roundabout. And we're going to want the highway... Oh, come on now. Can we get this straight to go right into there? There we go. And then to get this to feed into here, we're going to still want this kind of a road. So how does that work for us? We've still got lights here. We don't really need this right here, though. Right? Correct? Correct me if I'm wrong, but we really don't need that right there. I guess we kind of need this right here. Do we... Now, wait a second. Yeah, I guess we need these lights here. But hopefully that'll help ease the traffic. Oh my gosh, look at this mess over here. Oh, good lord. Good job, Scotty. Good job. You're doing it. <laughs> Whatever it is, you're doing it. <laughs> All right, we got to take care of this here. We need to bring this road over here like that and can this one get in here like this there we go all right and we need to make sure that zoning sticks 
All right, got that zoning in there. And there, all right. Looks like we're doing okay. Fair enough. Let's go ahead and while we're here, let's check on our landfills. This one is at 12%. This one's at 99%. Let's empty this building to another facility. And hopefully, what are we doing here? We have 21 trucks in use out of 30. Garbage reserves. Well, it looks like we're processing quite a bit of trash, but can we process more? Trash is an issue and a half. All right. Trash is quickly becoming uh, one of our most expensive, if not our most expensive. It looks like fire and electricity are still more expensive than our trash budget. How are we doing over here? Should we expand? I'm wondering if we should expand our industry over here. We need some more industry. So let's go ahead. We'll expand our industry over on this side. And can we... Yeah, let's... We're going to make this whole area a giant industrial park for forestry. All right. So I need to look into getting more uh, residential to grow and uh, to add some more to the city. You know what? While I've got you guys here with me, let's go ahead and finish growing here the Moon Willow Bend. Hopefully that'll deal with a little bit of our residential issues. But we are growing again, and we're making a decent amount of money. What do we have down here? What are you trying to tell me? Anything? No. All right. We'll see you guys very soon as I continue building our city. Uh, I'm going to look into getting some more services for downtown here and also over on this side of town. I'll see you in just a second. All right, welcome back. I did a little bit of tinkering with the road over here in the industrial area. And so it's all one giant one-way loop that goes like this and like this. I think that'll help considerably. Uh, I don't know what kind of effect that's going to have on the fire. Well, the fire department should be all right. And the police department is going to have to go around the block to help these over here. But I think our coverage will still be all right. But what I wanted to do was get into some of the unique buildings. And I have this botanical garden that I got as, I believe, one of my, uh, what do you call it, pre-order perks. As well as the carousel, the Paradox Plaza, I believe I got for signing up for something early. Uh, and then I got this basketball court. So I think I'm going to put this basketball court down here in the city. It may take some things out, but hopefully it'll also help improve the community. So let's go ahead. We'll put it right here on the corner. That may help some things grow. And then also, let's go ahead. We'll put in this botanical garden. We'll put it right here at this intersection. That will probably look really cool with that dome at the end of the street. Yeah, I think that's going to look awesome. And then I'll look into some of these other things. I've got a bouncy castle park and uh, some other stuff. I don't think that's going to be for the city. I might put that more over by one of the elementary schools or one of these smaller suburban style uh buildings you know what? let's go ahead and let's put this at the other end down here let's put this uh, it's not going to be centered but i think it'll still be pretty cool but i think that'll help this corridor grow considerably all right let's go ahead you know what? let's take a peek at it where i don't have it all colored purple and stuff oh that looks really cool probably gonna need to work on a public transportation system and have a bus stop like right there so you know what while we're on camera let's go ahead and let's look into putting in a bus depot and let's see can we put it on the corner here I guess we'll have to put it right here oh well, we don't have to what if I put it oh I could put it right there
Oh, they don't want the bus depot there. Huh. Sorry, guys. All right. Let's create a new line. We'll have a bus stop. Uh, let's look at the map real quick before we add that new line, just so I can see where we might want to have stuff. I'm assuming that they can get off the bus here at the bus depot, but I could be totally wrong. Let's go ahead. How much is it to relocate this? 6,000. Let's do it. They, they didn't seem to care for that at all. So what if we put it in the commercial area down here in Baskets Business? That's all commercial, right? I don't want to take any schools out. There we go. It cost us some money, but I think that'll be a better location for it. And we can turn this back into high-scale residential. Sounds good to me. All right. We got another upgrade going in right there for that commercial district there. Let's go ahead and start looking into putting in some... All right. Can I put in... Yeah, I want it right there. And this is going to be to get to the garden. This would be like a parks. We'll make this for the parks. Wow, it's going... Why is it going... Oh, it's because it's on this side of the road. All right. Well, we're going to have to have it where people can get on as well. So we'll have one down at this corner down here. Man, trying to... I've never thought about planning a city bus system before. It's pretty crazy. We'll do one right here. We've got the school down here, so we probably should have one at the school. We'll do one kind of a... We'll do a, like one big loop here. I was thinking about doing it for the parks, but... Wow, that's interesting. Does it ever have to come back to the depot? That's a question I have. And then we'll come back around here. We'll have a stop on this side of the road. And then if I bring it back around. There's that park right there. We can do this one. Here. And then we'll have it tied back into there. So we've got the blue line. People are using it, it looks like. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll just take a peek and watch here for a second to see how it goes. We should see some... This is our bus terminal. No, that's elementary school. Bus terminals this way. There we go. Pharmacy. Bus depot. We have six buses in use. Public transportation. We're going to raise you up by 130%. Well, I'm 125%. That should increase. How many buses did we get? Only one more. 
Let's go ahead and we'll follow along with the bus and we'll see how it does. Zero of 30 passengers. Look at all these people at this bus stop down here. Holy moly. Is this not doing what I thought it would do? Three lanes, try using another one if, the, if you're gonna have to stop, Mr. Bus Driver. Oh, he's gonna make the first stop is gonna be right down here, and then he's gonna follow the path, I see. So, you're gonna fill up. Why, why aren't you getting people? bus hey pick up the people there's nobody on your bus I don't understand come on bus pick up some people look at all the people lined up at this bus stop craziness all right people are getting on the bus let's follow it now I'm kind of curious what's gonna happen here you taking people see nobody's here You had 19 people on the bus. All right. And hardly anybody at this bus stop. It's crazy. Don't, oh, he just hit that old lady. Oh. Some people are getting off, some people are getting on. All right. So far, this bus is not reaching capacity, but he's doing that by not picking up people at like four bus stops. I love the solar panels on the roof. Way to go, citizens. Oh my God. Woo, we're gonna fill up. Yeah. We have completely underestimated the need for public transportation in our city. It's amazing, you have this giant empty field and nobody's at the bus stop. Well, let's see if anybody gets off. All right, we got a pretty full load. Dropping people off down here at Paradox Park. All right, anybody getting out? Four people are getting out. Sounds good, all right. Oh my gosh, let's take a view at this uh, Burning building as we, what, oh, what? What are you doing in the middle of the street? I don't like that at all. You're supposed to go down around the block. All right, we're gonna have to modify this bus line, I think. Come on now. All the buses are all lined up together, it looks like. How about we put in a second line? Can I, can't I do that? That's the metro. Train, ship, and plane. All right, what if I put in a different... Let's get a different bus service down this way. Huh? I don't know what I'm doing.
I'm gonna have to look and see how I do this. Oh, we're gonna have to take that one out. It's all right, it's coming back. Don't sweat it. There, it'll snake by the school. Come on now. This is interesting. Trying to figure out exactly how it's gonna snake through here. There's a medical center like right here, so we should have that included in this route. And then we'll bring this around. Oh, it's gonna have to go way down here and around if I go down that far. So we're gonna take that out. Put one here. here and then we'll come back around come on now come on wrap around There, and a whole other separate bus route. I'm gonna have to look into how you uh, recolor those. Go ahead and put that down in the comments, guys. Our metro system. 67 people per week from the town and three tourists a week. And so much has probably been happening behind the scenes. We are in need of residential something fierce. So let's go ahead, we'll put some down here. More of that high density residential. We'll bring it even down to this corner. We'll do the same right here. We'll go ahead and put in some high density residential there, or high density commercial there, and high density commercial right there. We'll do the same over on this side here. High density residential in the middle here. Do a little commercial. And how about some more high density residential? Hopefully that'll start growing very quickly. Let's take a peek at our industry over here. Looks like it's doing very well. Oh, we've got some abandoned buildings actually. I was gonna say very well. They're, they need better employees. And you know what? We have a bunch of money. Do we have enough to buy the university? We need 75,000 for that university. So let's just pause for a second at high speed and make a little cashola and we'll figure out, I think that university would go very nicely down here by the botanical gardens perhaps. Maybe even look right in there. You know, we could put it right on this thoroughfare right here. We can just make sure we've got a bus stop that gets in there. All right. That made a lot of people very happy throughout the city. That's great. That's going to help us grow. Oh, and they just lost a bunch of employees probably out here. Let's go ahead. We'll slow this down. I'm going to take care of these abandoned buildings. Look into uh, maybe some water issues we have. Yeah, nobody there gets any water. They haven't for a long time. Way to go. I'll fix that on camera here. And uh, I'm going to take care of some more stuff here. I'll be right back, guys. 
All right, I just checked how much time we've had on this episode, guys. Uh, a couple episodes ago, Lost in the Fort suggested that I put some residential in near the industry and that that will help us get uh, workers that want to work in this area. I I'm not a fan of it. I'm still not a fan of it, to be honest with you. Um, but I'm going to give it a rip and see if that works for us. And uh, we'll see if having people who live in this area, this right here is going to need to be industry, I think. And so we'll leave this, we'll leave this right here, industry. But uh, he said it'll create some low-income housing that will have people who want to work in this area or can work in this area that meet the demands of the employees that these companies need. Honestly, I think that is, um, I don't know. I don't like it. But I'm going to put in some places here where people can live. At least they can live along the river here. feel really bad for this guy because he lives next to the industry and just downriver from the, the, the mud factory. We'll just call it that. But uh, the city is coming along nicely. Uh, we're getting closer and closer to meeting our next milestone. I guarantee that's going to happen next episode just with the rate that we're growing. We just put the university in. Our uh, forestry industry is doing well. And things are really looking up. I never did get that uh, fire and police in the downtown area here. Let's see if uh, I'll go ahead and hit play. Maybe we can get one of those in here before we uh, end the episode. All right, let's go ahead. Where can we put the fire department? If I put it here. Looks like it does pretty well. If I put it on this corner, so I'm going to go ahead, throw that in. I want you guys to click that like button and subscribe for more City Skylines City Skylines fun here at Garbitas Point. I'm Scotty Garbitas. Thanks so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys next time for more fun here in our city. Click like, subscribe, oh my, it's Scotty!